What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now in today's video I want to give you a quick update on Solana because this price actually just made an incredibly important move that I think you need to be aware of. And so with that said let's not waste any more time at all and let's get straight into the video. So looking at Solana here what we can see is that its price just broke out of this beautiful range in which it had been in for the last couple weeks. I mean realistically since April 13th roughly so yeah I mean about a month and four days ago we saw Solana's price just going sideways ways within this range now i told you all that i thought that this was bullish and that historically speaking solana has a tendency of going sideways before it makes a move in the opposite direction so right you can see this right like we went up then we went sideways then we went down then we went sideways then we went up you know and if you just look at the history of solana that's just what it happens to do right it's oftentimes it happens to do that and so because of that we were doing our accumulation and we were doing our buying on solana around these 120 130 dollar levels and so obviously those of you who did buy and you know around some of these lower levels especially at the 618 to 786 bucks you have 30 percent plus so obviously congratulations to you but let's more talk about what is happening now well solana just made a very important move for a couple reasons okay reason number one is because that solana has now officially cleared the previous two highs in which it saw now declaring that it is in an uptrend now it's always important to see that right because you see in an instance like this right you have a high then a lower high then a lower high and a lower high and a lower high although any price movement in here might have felt good none of this was good because at the end of the day solana was still in what is called a downtrend which is lower highs and lower lows and the only way to stop a downtrend is quite obviously starting an uptrend how do you start an uptrend you set a higher high it means you have a high and you set a high that's above that high you get real high it's all good right and so obviously from a fundamental perspective solana has now taken the downtrend that it's been in realistically since let's go ahead and call that get off my screen since mm, march 18th right the last day of the peak up here since march 18th and it's now flipped into an uptrend and that's beautiful because that means all of this is now hopefully over now so that's a fundamental perspective okay from a structural perspective what we could see here was that solana was putting in what looks like inverse head and shoulders okay now i'm not gonna go out and call this an inverse head and shoulders and the reason being is because we saw this big ass wick to the downside that was actually technically set below this previous low right here right this little low here so we can't say that it is fully a structural technical um sorry uh, inverse head and shoulders but from just perspective sake looking at it you can see that it has similar formation you can see especially from where the closes are where it's been closing was clearly an inverse head and shoulders now the reason that that is important is because the zone for breakout here right the breakout zone was at 159 dollars that meant that if solana's price was capable of breaking this line right here this little white line that you can see it opens up the door for solana to reach the breakout target to the upside now in this instance the breakout target for this inverse head and shoulders if we go from here to the close not the wick but the close we would be looking at a breakout target sitting roughly let's go ahead and say that this is at 200 bucks right and it's it's not coincidental when they have alignment like that but yeah 200 dollars roughly is where your breakout target would be and so that means that there is now a door open for solana to reach back up to 200 dollars. so that's another reason why this is important now that's great okay and that's kind of the reasons why i was so happy to see that solana was able to confirm this breakout now technically speaking is by the end of today solana's price pulls all the way back below 157 dollars this breakout is not confirmed i am assuming that this thing is going to hold but that might end up being a mistake on my part because i'm not waiting until the end of the day to make this video if solana by the end of today does not close up here it closes under here and we see this as a red candle that goes back in here the breakout is not confirmed nothing that i am about to say is valid okay so everything that i'm about to say going forward is not valid and invalidated if we see solana's price fall back within this channel by the end of today okay but let's assume that this breakout is confirmed and that we are capable of seeing solana's price hold out here what i'm actually going to go ahead and say is that i'm still not doing a lot of buying right now for solana now the reason being is because reason number one we've been buying solana a lot throughout the bottom half of this okay either throughout or around the bottom half you can go watch the last you know 20 solana videos that we've made and there's been so many moments where we we're buying here and buying three four times down here and buying this and even buying into this dip right here buying around here came back down bought a little bit more here we were buying a shit ton in here and so those positions that i opened and that we opened they're up 
you know, 20%, 25, 30%. And so my average cost on Solana is 31 and a half dollar or $32 now, right? Where it was at one point only $25, $24. But I've been raising my average cost because I have a little bit more room to buy a little bit more Solana because I want to add to my Solana bank. I will not be happy until I hit a certain number. I'm not going to share that number, but it's a number that I want to hit, right? And so I was buying here because I thought it was a good opportunity, but I don't want to be buying like crazy, especially when my average cost is so low. I'm not trying to get myself even more risk of ended up breaking even one day, right? And so because of that, I am not doing a ton of buying. That's from a fundamental perspective. Structurally, technically, the reason why I'm not doing a lot of buying is because Solana is now sitting directly at the 618 to 786 box from our macro swing high all the way to this macro swing low, okay? This is the zone right here that is the most likely to reject Solana's price back to the downside, okay? It's just that simple. This is the box that is the most likely. Between 184 and $167, Solana will have the highest chance of getting rejected to the downside that it's had at any given point throughout this move to the downside. And so because of that, knowing that that is a risk, I don't really see a point in buying because one of two things is going to happen. Solana's price is going to continue upwards, clear this box, and then the door to $250 to $300 is now open. Okay, that's option number one. Option number two is it's going to get, and in that situation, all these buys that we did right here are extremely positive, and I'm happy with that trade. Or it's going to get rejected, come back down, and I'm going to buy a lot more down here. Then eventually it's going to make that move to the upside, and then I'm still going to be able to break positive. So one way or another, it's either I'm going to go positive, super positive on these buys right now, or I'm going to do some more buying and then go super positive after that. And so buying under this resistance point just doesn't seem like a good idea because I have no clarity, no idea of how Solana's price is going to react here. And there's just no point in doing a lot of buying, in my opinion. And so because of that, I'm just sitting back and I'm watching. This is bullish. We had some bullish mo movement here, even if we want to say remove this, right? So let's say if we remove this out the way, you can see that this was a clear cup and handle pattern. So we have bullish structure to the downside, a bullish breakout to the upside. We're now fundamentally establishing an uptrend off of the downtrend that we've been in for the last two months. And so for all of those reasons, I think Solana is opening up the door slowly to make a beautiful move upwards, but it's only a matter of time until, you know, we do have to just, or it's just only, it's only a matter of time as to how we're going to know how this is going to go. And so there's no point in trying to guess or force it, quite simply just sitting back and watching. And so that's what I'm doing. No movements for me right now. You guys know I am trying to give you guys Solana updates every day. And so because of that, I will come with you tomorrow. Maybe it may come, you know, with maybe some news that I'm buying, possibly if the price pulls back. But obviously, that's kind of a reach. I doubt it will in that time. But obviously, we'll just have to see what happens. And so at this given point, everything is bullish. Everything is good. I'm super happy with the move that is made fundamentally, technically, structurally. But I'm not going to do too much buying right now because I just don't think it's a good time. And so because of that, again, I will continue to update you every single day on Solana. I also posted a Bitcoin video earlier. I have a Render and a Jasmine video coming out later today. So make sure you turn on notifications when you do subscribe so you don't miss those. And I can't wait to see you all in the next videos. Peace out, everybody.